What's going on guys, this is your boy Project Ice Man. I'm bringing another episode of Pokemon Floral Tempest. In the last episode, we went through most of the ranch. We talked to the... The... The guy who, um... The professor was talking about, apparently, in the previous... Uh, in one of the previous episodes. Um, he's, he wanted me to check... To try and get something for his Tauros. Um, because apparently it had a fever, so it needs a special antidote. To cure it from it. I wonder if it's guts and that's why it's getting so angry. But we found this house before we reached the Lidham City. So we're going to be checking it out. Careful, a game over can occur in this house. Meaning you can lose and will be sent back to the main screen instead of the Pokemon Center. Make sure you save and then ready up before entering. Come and sit. I'm talking to you, child. Have you ever eaten human flesh? What? Now, now. You've heard of children disappearing, correct? Lately, I've been thinking. Click. Oh, jeez. This could be my chance to try my hand at some cannibalism. It would be so easy, too. The police in this region are incompetent bigots. And I've heard from the cult from a cult local cult that human meat isn't that much different than pidgey meat or a good magic card. And no one will notice if another bratty snot nosed child went missing. Fight. Fine choice. Oh, a battle, eh? That's good. It adds a little thrill before I eat you. As I thought. Oh no, it has confusion. Damn. Oh, come on. All right. Fine. Okay. If that's going to continue to miss, I'm just going to... Nice. Oh, that's all you had? Pfft. No. All I had to do was beat one measly kid. Take this and get out of my sight. <laughs> you hear the door and lock in the distance. Oh, somebody actually wants to talk to me? Uh, ha have a nice day? I don't know, people don't usually talk to me while passing through here. Lately, kidnappers have been popping up a lot. The gym leader of city thought it would be smart to keep guards at the entrances and exits of the city. Last night, I saw some guys in black walking around the town. I hope they weren't trying doing anything bad.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. With this many books, you should you would think this place is a library. This place is so uncomfortable. Assortment of books about Pokemon. Assortment of books about Pokemon. So nothing here, huh? Right. Plus he's so plus he's so cute. Uh. During my free time, I'd love to come here and read. It's not a library, but it'll suffice. I learned today that the move Fake Out is useful for getting quick damage on your opponent's Pokemon. Did you know that Real Realtra regions houses Pokemon from all over the world? Any Pokemon you want is probably right here in Realtra. Nickname and Pokemon is one of the best ways to create a special bond with them. I like Pokemon. I want to become a great Pokemon trainer one day. This kid gives you a weird look. <laughs> What's with the weird look? What? A hiker can't read a book? You never said that? Oh, my bad then. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Farther north of the region lies the abandoned fossil excavation site. It used to be a popular spot, but lots of miners reported sightings of multiple different ghosts which interfere in their work. They say the ghosts don't, didn't look like any Pokemon they had seen before. The mini mall in Paeonia City is one of the best places to relax after a long day. Everyone is so chill there. Some Pokemon have different designs depending on gender. If you look close enough, you'll notice some small differences. The top floor is undergoing reanimations. Please come back later. Yo, Shen! Man, you're fast. I was hoping to catch up with you to you once you were leaving town. You should have a battle. It would be a good way to test our Pokemon strength before the first gym. What do you say? Sure. Ooh. It's been a while since I heard this song. Oh, wow. F. Ooh, oh, you have a lot more, a lot less HP than I expected. Oh, uh, that's not what I meant to do, but okay. I'll take it. Uh, that must be the... Routes. <laughs> oh, you have confusion already. Oh. Jeez, Shen. Your Pokemon are so strong already. You won't have any problem taking on the gym in this city. Oh yeah, if you haven't already, visit the Lilium Ranch. The residency I gave out Pokemon to good-hearted travelers. Also, if you're looking for Del, he's taking a sweet-ass time, as always. You know how he is. Anyway, I'll see you around, Shen. All 
I remember when Helianthus Town and this city used to be so friendly with each other. But since the kidnapping started, both towns fell apart and now they barely talk to each other. People here at Lilium City want nothing to do with others in Helianthus Town. Beautiful, aren't they? This region is known for its beautiful flowers. Uh, hold on. You'll see them everywhere. Ah. Thank you for waiting. Oh, what? There's no. It's a. It's a. Would you like me to tell you about this time? It's gym leader. Sure. The gym leader in this town uses grass type Pokemon. You're careful of poison and spore moves. Those attacks usually cause trainers to quit challenging. Antidotes, paralyzed heals, and awakenings would do just fine. Honestly, I can't really give you information on the gym leader themselves. They're always changing, so it's, it's complicated. I'll be striving the city's gym. I did want to figure find out if the. Uh, I wanted to figure out if they, uh, what do you call it, if they had, like, multiple... When the gym is open, come see me. I'll help you train your Pokemon. What? A guy can't enjoy some flowers? Shup, Shun. Did you know that all the towns in this region are named after flowers? Pretty neat, huh? The flowers here are all so beautiful. The flower shop smells amazing. Hello, welcome to the Lydium Floor Department. What you got? Ah, okay. Yeah, I'll get one of those. Yeah. Let's stick with that for now. Let's see. I'm trading with my buddy. I'm repping this sucker off. Ha <laughs> ha. Why you gotta be like that, bruh? Wanted to buy a super potion for my boy, Young Raichu. And then they're, but they're out of stock. <laughs> Young Raichu. Why is everything so damn expensive? More items are open for you to buy when you earn more gym badges. That's really dumb. <laughs> Where's the Gatorade? <laughs> What's up, kid? You look down. Taurus at a ranch is sick? Well, say no more. I got what you need. Take that back to the ranch. Alright. Let's explore the rest of this area. The Lillium Apartments are back in business. Opening soon. From how small this town is, it looks pretty nice. You're from the orphanage, right? I hear a lot of nice things about the orphanage. I want to meet the nice man who pioneered the idea. It warms my height and uh, orphan children have a place to stay. You should check rocks and such for hidden items. They often go overlooked. When I was younger, I made a hobby up out of finding hidden items. Sorry guys, I'm kind of multitasking here. Why are people so obsessed with technology in the future? You should be focusing on the now. What happens 20 years from now does not affect us. <laughs> but... Yo, I got this, that all new Supreme Pokeballs. You ain't got shit on me. Alright. <laughs> Come on, open the door. Dory, you can't stay holed up inside there. You can't just ignore every gym battle. <sighs> oh. Hey, are you looking to battle the gym leader by any chance? The name's Garrison. I'm the assistant of the town's gym leader. Or maybe I would be if the gym leader of this town would do her job! 
Of course. Anyway, what's your name? Yo, Shen! Who's your friend? I'm Garrison. I'm the assistant as the gym leader for this town. Why does the gym leader need an assistant? It's complicated and I'd rather not explain. Alright. When can I get a battle with the gym leader? Probably not anytime soon. Lately, the gym leader of this town uh, has been losing a lot. She beats herself up over it and ends up locking herself up at that tower. <sighs> so if you want to gym battle the gym leader, you're going to have to come back at a different time. Ah, uh, that sucks. What kind of gym leader gets mad when they lose? Ugh. Sorry about all this. It's not your fault. It's just that this gym leader sounds like the biggest crybaby ever. Ooh. Uh, Dory? Oh. <sighs> yep, a big crybaby indeed. Let me guess. We have to help you find her? I didn't say anything. I'd feel pr guilty after calling her a crybaby. I think it's better if we help out. I guess help would be nice. She usually runs off like this a lot. Finding her alone is a pain. I'll go ask around. See if anyone saw her where she ran off to. Thanks for the help. Again, I'm really sorry about all this. I know you got how much you guys are looking forward to a gym battle. She shouldn't be even be running off like this. Kidnappers could be anywhere. Anyway, here. Take these. They'll be really helpful. Appreciate you. Knowing her, she's probably ran off to, towards Route B. She really loves the flowers there. I'm gonna get searching. Let me know if you see her around. Okay. Saw this one show on TV that featured this dude. His dude is like doing this thing, and the and this other dude walked up and just shot him. It was pretty rad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, hello there. I used to be a gym leader, but I retired, and now I live here. I think this will be helpful for you. Ooh. I feel that that should help you a lot as a trainer. My husband used to be a gym leader for Papa V year City. Goodbye, double slap. What are you doing in my house? Oh, you're probably looking for this. Ooh, okay. People usually come in here asking for this. Growl this is your stupid tears, so okay. <laughs> okay, so Route B is the one on the right? Yeah, okay. I'll go there at a later time. How much time do I have left? Okay, it's 19 minutes. We just... We just started. Alright. Looks like you have the antidote. Just go spray that tor on Taurus. That should fix him up real good. Another one. Oh, right, um... Uh, 
Nothing happens. So, did the antidote work? Toro still looks angry. Tar! I really wonder what's gotten under Taurus' skin. Taurus shifts uncomfortably. Well, looks like I have to call up the professor. Hey, there's a needle stuck in Taurus' fur. Pull it out? Yeah. Taurus relaxed his body as you pulled the needle out. Oh, a razor fang. Tar, tar! Taurus jumps around joyfully. Tar, tar! Hey, looks like you found what was aching Taurus. <laughs> All this time it was a tiny little fang. And here I was thinking it was much more than that. Why don't you come on down to my home? That way I can thank you properly. Wow, I really didn't bother to even check around Taurus for small stuff like that. Shows I still have a lot to learn. <laughs> Here, have this. Ooh. Definitely have you. Definitely. Okay, uh, who should I name you after? In fact, I know exactly who to name you after. Again, thank you so much for helping us out. I'll tell the professor I'll, about your help here today. He'll be really pleased to know you helped out. Yeah. Also, I hope that Pokemon proves useful to you in the future. Let's see. What's the stats look like? Ooh, high special attack with adaptability. It has adaptability, so return will be good. It's quirky nature. It seems to have to be lean towards special attack, defense, and speed. I already have a water type. I already have a grass type. So that leaves Flareon, Jolteon. No, Flareon's physical. Jolteon, Jolteon, Glaceon, Espeon. I wouldn't mind using an Espeon. Not often do I use one. Oh! I just realized. <laughs> This is probably the first time I actually named him correctly. The f <laughs> like usually I would name him uh <laughs> name him something something different. Like I would call him either JW Jordan or Jordan or LW or just random things. <laughs> just just and then when he evolves just rename him so that <laughs> Oh man. I completely forgot about that. Oh well. Alright, there we go. I was afraid it froze again. Let's save. Let's see. How, how long do we have left? 25 minutes? Alright, let's check on this girl, see if we can find her. Crime on the rise, kidnappers are loose. Of course she goes running off now. Oh, 
Why does she always cause trouble for me? Ugh. I really hope her father doesn't find out about this. Uh, Shen, how long have you been standing there? They actually just got here. I asked all around the town, and apparently no one saw your princess leaving town. She's not... I mean, uh, whatever. So what's the plan? Dory has a number of hiding spots on Route B. We could split up to, uh, to the different areas to save time. I assume you heard what I said about her father, correct? Yeah. <sighs> Let me explain. Dory's father is the gym leader of Lilium City. He's also a businessman that has his HQ located far away from his gym. So he passes out his on his gym to Dory while he goes out and checks on his business. He then hired me to watch over her and hold her into the perfect Pokemon trainer. However, Dory's extremely unstable and can't handle being a Pokemon trainer, let alone a gym leader. Losses hurt her a lot and discourage her from being a gym leader. Why not take the gym from her? To quote her father himself, if Dory isn't a respectable gym leader by the time I return, you can kiss your job goodbye. That wouldn't be so bad if Dory was willing to cooperate. Yep. Del, what's going on? Del, do you mind helping us with this small task? Uh, okay. Uh, Garrison, this is Del. He's a friend of ours and he's willing to help us out. That's good. The more the better, I suppose. Anyway, she should be anywhere in Route B. The route isn't very big, so it shouldn't take long. I'll head there first. When you guys are ready, meet me on Route B and we'll begin. We have to go searching for someone? The gym leader of Lilim City has gone missing. We have to find her. <clears throat> we can't wait until Garrison Guy finds her? Kidnappers are all around us, Del. That's why he wants our help, I guess. Del, I know this is tedious and boring, but Garrison had put his trust in us, so we can't let him down. Yeah, I get it. Great, I'll go on ahead. You guys can play catch up or whatever, but hurry up. Garrison is waiting for us. Huh. <sighs> Yo, Shen. Let's battle. Okay. <laughs> Bagon? What? Okay. Just pulling up with a Bagon all of a sudden. God. <laughs> oh man, I didn't see. Oh, Starly. Yeah. <laughs> Gone. Bottle Gone. <laughs> Not bad. You're getting pretty good, Shen. Here, take this. Oh, okay. These are pretty rare, so use them in consideration. Professor gave up one to Faye and I, and I, and told me to give one to you. Let's get this over with. Let's heal up real quick. While we're, and also, let's go to the. Let's buy some more Pokeballs if they have them in stock. Oh, okay, they have common candies here? So there's a level cap. There he is. Great. Now that everyone's here, we can section off each part of the route to separate people. Faye and Del, I want you, to, I want you two to search the northern part of the route. 
while Shen and I will search the silent part. When you find her, one person will come back and tell, to tell the others, while the other one stays with her to make sure she doesn't get away again. Alright, seems easy enough. Also, Faye, if you find her, please try not to call her any names like Princess and Crybaby. Oh, yeah, sorry about all that. Well, let's get going. Hope we find her before that some creep does. Alright, let's get the show on the road. Uh, what? I hope you know- What? So- What? <laughs> I hope you know you kids have made a huge mistake. Find that girl before anyone else does. Next time, kid. Don't talk about important subjects out in the open. Yeah. Yeah. That That's pretty much my reaction, too. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. 31 minutes. We'll uh, end the recording right here. I have to get ready to go to work, unfortunately. So, alright then, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.